Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. For the first time in a long time, it is Sovereign Saturday. Sovereign men have a support system. Now, I haven't done these in a few months. As people who follow me regularly know, I had a stroke back in October. Now, I've been doing stuff during the week, but, you know, I had to get back to Sovereign Saturdays because, you know, that's the main thing with me is just having some sovereignty. But a sovereign man has to have a support system. Like, one of the things I had, I had to correct because one thing I found, people were finding my Sovereign Man videos like why they were doing searches on Sigma males. Now, that's, you know, I'm not into that whole alpha, beta, sigma, all of that. I'm not into it. Some people would say, hey, you're a sigma male. Like, yeah. You know, if, if I'm cool with them, I just let it go. But, you yeah, know, I ain't into all of that. And especially when you're talking about a sovereign man. A sovereign man got to have a support system. Because, yeah, yeah, I'm preaching sovereignty. Yeah, I can live on my own, all that stuff. But during the period I had the stroke, I had to have some support. I had to have some support. Now, I shouted out Miss Smoker Angel. She provided a lot of support. My, uh, my family provided a lot of support, especially my sons provided a lot of support. And I had friends and family. They were like hitting me up. People who knew me privately, they were saying, hey, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? And shoot. And, you know, it's just a reality out here. No, no man is an island. Ain't no way you're you going to have to deal with people on some level. Like, if you, like the ultimate level of sovereignty for me is having your own business. Okay, you got that. You still got to deal with customers. You still probably have to work with some people. You still got to uh, make some connections. You still got to have some support because even as you expand your business, you still going to have to have some people, uh, you probably going to have to hire some people. Now, what if I had a business that uh, I actually hired some people? And yeah, you know me, um, I got, always got plans and everything or ideas. Now, what if I had that business that needed uh, like a retail business? Let's just say a retail business. Let's say I had a store somewhere. Okay, I had the stroke and everything. I can't just shut the store down, can I? I would need somebody in there. And, you know, and trust me, I've seen some people, they, they run some businesses like that by themselves and everything, you know. But then as soon as something happens, they got to shut it down. There's been many a business that shut down because the owner, the owner, uh, something happened to them. No, you can't do that. Or if you go, if you uh, saying, OK, I'm going to become sovereign, but I'm going to do it through this corporate route or I'm going to do public service and be a police officer. I'm going to be a fireman, something like that. You still need support. You still working with people. But just getting back just to yourself, you need some people who can just say, hey, what's going on? You need some people who can check on you and say, hey, hey, you good? Because when I had the stroke, I had, like I said, I had a lot of people check on me. Now, of course, I had the family, they, that, that was right away, but then there were a lot of people who don't know me personally. Many of you probably who were reaching out, say, hey, you good? You good over there? Everybody needs that. See, I'm gonna tell you something there. This whole lone wolf thing and all of that, that's some bullshit. Seriously, I'm gonna just call it, it's just straight bullshit. It's straight bullshit, because you're gonna need somebody. You know, there's been, I'm gonna tell you what, there's been many a man and woman who passed away, they lived by themselves and they passed away and they be, they would be in their apartments, homes, whatever, by themselves for maybe a few months before anybody knows, before anybody stopped by. You know, I mean, even if it's just somebody just to do a wellness visit. Like, this ain't saying you, like, you can't be by yourself and you can't build up stuff, but you're gonna need, you're gonna need people to support you, you know? And not even, and really, not even just for something bad to happen. You just need support in life, period. None of us are meant to be by ourselves. You know, it's funny, and look, I'm, I got shot. I got, I got to go there with this. Like a lot of people talking about Sigma males this and Sigma males that, but you got these Sigma male communities. That's a community right there. You call yourself a lone wolf, but you in this community. Think about it. Everybody needs somebody. No man, no man is an island. So that's the important thing. That's the important thing to realize. 
that's the thing that you got to go through. You, you got to realize you got to have a support. You got to like, what I would suggest is as you building up your sovereignty, as you building up your finances, your place to stay, as you working on your mission, Pay attention to the people who can be a part of that mission, or at least just supportive, or at least cool, or at least have friends. Now, I know there's a big deal about many men out here being lonely, but you need a couple friends. Everybody needs that. You need friends. You need family. That's the one thing, and I think that's a big issue with the community overall, why things are falling apart. Everybody is, like, getting into their own world, but it, we're not built like that. Human beings aren't built like that. You know, you, so you need to find those people who are going to help, who are going to be there for you. You need to find, you need to develop that support system. And it, it, as you're developing it, you just think about it. As you, as you deal with each person, as you meet people, it's like, okay, who's always there? Who, who's there? Who's going to be there in the bad time? In fact, that's how you need to think about it anyway. Because I said that before in a video I did a month or so ago, talking about the type of women that you need in your life. Who's going to be there? It's like everybody, it's easy for people to be there where everything going well. You know, you had your best shape and everything. Who's going to be there when you do have a stroke? Or, uh, you, you know, maybe you have an accident. Maybe you can't drive yourself. Who's going to be there? You know, what type of person is it? Because you got to sometimes watch those people who are there when everything is going well, because some people just want to be bandwagon uh, friends. Or some people, like, they looking to use you or something. Who's, who's going to go out their way to help you? Who's, who's helping you anyway? Even on the path to sovereignty, who was actually really supportive of you getting there? I mean, you got to think about all that. You got to think about it. Who, who was there for you? Who was helping? You know? Who can you count on? Because I don't care, like I said, now this ain't saying you got to be, like I said, you don't have to be Mr. Gregarious and know all these people. In fact, the best support system is only a few anyway. Because when you got a whole bunch of people, you don't know what these, that might be too many. I would say everybody, like as a man, you need, as a man, I would say have, first of all, you know, you building yourself. First of all, you have your relationship with yourself. So that's, that's first and foremost, but then, okay, what woman you going to want a relationship with? What woman is going to be a ride or die? Which woman is an asset and not a liability to you? Which woman is, wants to help you in your dream? That, hey, that's first and foremost. You know, if you decide you want to get married, okay, who's going to be a good mother? Who's going to raise the children right? And then even if you as a parent, how are you raising your children? How are you raising your children? Because I'll, I'll say for my sons, shit, they probably stay on me more about health than anything else. They stay me on, they're serious, they, they stay on me about stuff more than anybody else, you know? So what kind, of, what kind of children are you raising? You know, what friends, who you allow into your circle and who not? All of these things are very important. So as a sovereign man, Develop your support system, you know? Don't get into that, oh, well, I'm just by myself and everything. No, nobody's by themselves, because shit can happen, all right? Shit can happen. What if I had that attitude? I wouldn't be here now. If I ain't had that support system I had in place, I wouldn't be here now at all. That's the important thing. So, have a support system, build a support system. You know, build the solid people around you, all right? So, that's all I have for today. Keep rising to become the sovereign man that you're meant to be. Peace and blessings, everyone.